Good early afternoon, everyone, and I have to shave. Uh, so it is, it is Saturday. Um, I'm not going to work lately, so I'm losing track of my days. Um, so Hanger actually just stopped off a little while ago and dropped off my uh, stunt protector. I'll go ahead and show you guys that um, right now within a couple minutes, but I just wanted to update you in terms of uh, the pain this morning as I woke up and uh, just basically throughout the night as well. Um, I had the feeling that someone was cutting off and stabbing my big toe or toes, um, more than one, plural. Um, the, the pain has been so bad lately ever since they put this shrinker sock on, but uh, just uh, managing through the pain right now, um, putting, well we're not putting, but we're using the painkillers for right now and just doing the best you can because it, that's all you can do because if you're not if you actually have a piece that's itching and you can't um, do anything about it for right now then um, there's nothing really you can do about it because you can't really itch it so to speak um, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop you guys down here so you can uh, see the uh, actual stump protector so um, yeah, so here we go. So this is the actual stump protector right here. Um, it is a, uh, some of it is actually rubber. This is all, this is all rubber right here when I touch this. Uh, it's kind of a rubbery substance. Um, all this on the outside is uh, pretty much hard. It's a hard uh, plastic shell with a hard, it's a hard kind of a, hard rubber piece uh, right down at the bottom. So this is a um, hard plastic shell and uh, basically the sole purpose of this is to um, whenever, when or if you do fall, uh, this is going to basically take the brace of it and, uh, well, the brace or the blunt of it. And so whenever you do or if you do fall, um, your stump will not explode out and start seeping out and set you back literally a couple months. So um, it comes with uh, two, two Velcro straps right here to basically hold the stump protector in place. And then this, uh, this little pad uh, basically it goes over the top of this to basically uh, shield the whole bottom of it. So here, let me take this off. I'm gonna sit. Okay. So now, now that we got that piece off, if we go inside of here, you'll see um, all this inside is a. Uh, it's a spongy. It's a spongy like actually memory foam. That's kind of cool. I didn't notice that. Um, and then, when or if your stump does fall, it will absorb that, and uh, the memory foam will catch it. And then, therefore, your whole stump didn't explode and set you back a couple months. So, um, I'm going to be wearing this for at least a month or two until uh, the actual sutures heal, um, so on, etc. And uh, the guy from Hanger, he actually dropped off these cool um, filler socks. So he gave me three of them. Um, I'll just flip them over here on the back. Um, each filler sock has different colors on the actual um, braiding of it, and what the color represents is how many plies it is. So, like example, the yellow one here um, has it's a one ply one. Uh, blue is five. Blue is five ply. It actually shows right here. It's a uh, one ply equals yellow, green equals three ply, five ply equals blue, and then three ply equals red. So, and I'm actually sporting one right now, um, which it's green, so this is going to be a three ply. So, um, very comfortable, very cool, um, the air breathes right through. And then I uh, just wanted to show you guys this uh, shrinker sock as well. So, I got the old school shrinker sock. And uh, it is a, an elastic fabric that sits um, right over. I actually have one on right now. And uh, it just basically goes over your stump and it um, <clears throat> allows it to shrink. And it's pushing out um, 
it, it's shrinking all the muscle and it's uh, pushing up all the um, fluid um, uh, edema, I believe, edema, I believe they call it. Uh, it's an actual fluid that seeps down into the actual nub whenever you sleep. And uh, so it's pushing that stuff out. And then it's also um, shrinking the swelling. So the funny part is, is that I've only had this uh, shrinker sock on for the last, God, what's it been, two days? And uh, they actually made that just based off of the measurements that they had when they took all the... Um, tissue off so on etc from surgery and it's already um, it's already just a little bit loose loose enough that I had to put this three ply uh, green piece on in the order for it to kind of somewhat fit properly and then feel like incredibly large on it so um, obviously as time goes on I'm gonna have to put on <clears throat> more plies and uh, you know just just fill it out so to speak because the more you fill it out the more the better you're gonna fit inside of it and uh, the better everything is gonna be so this is gonna have to be something that uh, you get accustomed to whenever you're a brand new amputee because your nub is gonna be shape shifting so to speak so much over the course of the next uh, couple months as you go entire uh, go through the whole entire procedure so um, okay so it's uh, 8 p.m. Um, oh just about and uh, I'm, I'm getting ready to wrap up the evening. Um, <laughs> all I have to say is this uh, phantom pain that I've been having for the last couple days is um, ever since they put the shrinker shocks, uh, socks on, if I can pronounce it correctly, it, um, I don't know if this is normal. Um, I've heard there's, <laughs> there's pain sometimes when you put on sh uh, shrinker socks, but this is, um, this is absolutely incredible. Um, it's... Um, it just feels like someone is, I mean, it, I still feel the foot, um, like I haven't lost it since last, uh, Friday. And, uh, it just literally feels like someone is taking a knife and just driving it through my big toe. Um, it can shift all the way to my pinky toe. Um, it shift to the bottom of my foot to all the way to the heel of it. And, uh... I've been taking pain pills just non-stop all day trying to see in if it could possibly help out it seems to be helping out but it's just it's just becoming less frequent um, just the the pain is just as sharp as what it was previously with or without the pain pills so it's um, it's a gift that keeps on giving so and I don't know how long it's gonna last for so it's about that. Um, so you learn about the, um, stump protector. I showed you some, uh, expander socks, I believe they're called, correct me if I'm wrong, and, um, filler socks, expander socks, um, multiple ply, single ply, quad ply, double ply, um, That's about it for right now. Um, I'll, uh, like every day we're going to do a video, um, I'll update you guys in terms of how the night goes. Um, I got a whopping three hours of sleep last night, so um, this this is just your sharp pain. I thought everything, was, everything just started to calm down, and the second they put on that shrinker sock, everything went downhill from there. So I'm pretty sure... Um, the first initial times that I wear my shrink, uh, shrinker sock, it's gonna be it's gonna be just absolute brutal. Um, the good news is is that from Thursday, ever since they put it on, the stump has shrunk because um, the a stump protector we had to I had to put a couple socks on there just to fill it. So I mean something's working, and um, we'll just. Uh, we're just have, gonna have to wait it out. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can really do to massage. I mean, I've been kind of taking my fingertips and massaging the bottom of the um, residual limb and uh, seeing if that will help. Yes and no. I've been kind of stretching out the leg. I mean, there's not really much I can do since it's healing. So I've been kind of doing some minor stretches and whatnot to see if I can, you know, just get it to calm down. And it's, I mean, it's kind of calmed down, but again, it goes in spurts. I can be sitting doing good for about two hours and then all of a sudden all the blue it just feels like someone just takes a knife and just drills it right through my foot and there's no warning there's no absolute warning it is the most god-awful pain that I've felt and 
pretty much yours. So, uh, good stuff. So, I want to document this and tell you guys because um, not, not a lot of people tell the, uh, tell you what's happening and, and as to how long it's happening. So, every day that I can go and document for you guys how long it's happening, you know, what the pain scale is, um, how bad it is, then that way it can kind of help you guys out in the long run. But until, to, uh, until then, if you have any questions, um, let me know. Post it in the comments. Um, like the video if you like it. And if you want to see more videos like this, uh, I've been posting videos every day for the last uh, couple weeks now. And uh, just go ahead and subscribe, and uh, we'll alert you whenever there's a new video. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.